Welcome back to Unexpectedly Random Live. And another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If I can press the right buttons, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How is everybody doing today? It's going to be a fantastic little stream here. Did everybody get to see the uh, the 10 minutes, like, gameplay sneak preview sort of thing? Because that was, uh, that was pretty awesome. Um, of Tears of the Kingdom. All right, give me just a second. Got to this one thing, I hope. So the plan for today is uh, I think we're going to focus on shrines and that kind of fun, fantastic, wonderful stuff. Um, duh. And the other thing I want to do is I want to jump over to um, the labyrinth and get the teleportation medallion. Because that's something we don't have that will be incredibly useful so that's kind of where we're at and i've got this fixed hopefully so we should be good to go hi kerhu welcome to the stream we are going to be hunting for shrines today and hopefully not getting destroyed by the lionels <laughs> because they're kind of unfriendly to us for some reason. Anyway, um, for those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4. So make sure you follow us over there on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live. And then follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um... So we can keep you updated anytime there's a change to the streaming schedule. Circus. You got me confused there. I'm sure that's in reference to something I just said, but I have already uh, drawn a blank there. <laughs> so yeah, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And we also have a TikTok and a Twitter, um, at least for now. Uh, <laughs> TikTok may be uh, disappearing, but that's a whole different episode of things. Otherwise, uh, we are good to go. We do have Amiibo to take care of sometime today, but uh, we'll probably wait and do that a little bit later. And otherwise, we can jump on in here where we were at. We just completed the Vanaboris fight. Um, which was the one over in Gerudo Town. And we talked to the chief and tried to get her to give us the helmet, but she wouldn't, uh, she wanted us to help the townspeople out first. So that's kosher. So let's see what happens. As usual, um, always let me know if the audio is sounding weird or too loud or something. And we will do our best to adjust it. That's uh, pretty cool. Link. 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 
I have witnessed your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. Ruta. Rudania. Meadow. Naboris. All of the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. Well, that was intense. Okay. Um, well, that may that may redirect our plans for today, because this is the this is the next steps in getting the Master Cycle Zero, which is kind of awesome. So, oh, Korok seeds. That's the other thing we are going to uh, try and focus on today. So let's put the master sword away because oops. We don't need to be breaking it. Okay. Um Dad. May pale in comparison to Thunderhelm, but they're very valuable and not easy to come by. Since you're a friend of Lady Urbosa, I think it'd be best for you to have them. Do not hesitate. Take them in your hands. Okay, I will have to come back for those. Because I currently do not have room in the inventory. Uh, let's go talk to the girl that's supposed to be... supposed to be starting a garden back here and see what she has to say. It's nighttime, so she's probably not here. So, we're gonna go sleep. There's a sleepy place in here somewhere. Is this the place? This is the sleepy place. Hello! <laughs> the Divine Beast has stopped its rampage, so I'm hoping business will pick up again. It's all thanks to Lady Riju, isn't it? Nightly rate is 20, but we have a special spa plan that would be 80. Just standard, please. <laughs> when would you like to be awoken? In the morning. Savor! Did you sleep well? The desert is a dangerous place, but she should be up for anything after resting. I am up for going back here and seeing if uh, this kid's ready to make the garden happen or not. Wow, when you said morning, you were not kidding. <laughs> Hello, Rotana. R R Rotana. Mm. When the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. Now we know the place it's referring to. I just need to finish deciphering the full text. The uh, blessing? Mm. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but maybe I'll find out once I've deciphered more of the text. Not sure if it's related, but it's said the heroines held powers that were part of a bigger whole. <clears throat> Each heroine had a different power. Skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight motion, and gentleness. But they all look the same to me. Well, that's unfortunate. And you call yourself a historian. <laughs> hey, melon rinds. What's with you? How am I supposed to eat? enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off. 
This is the same dialogue we had before. Okay. Did I already get the Korok on top of there? I think I did. I'm questioning whether I did. I don't know if I did or not, so we're gonna go up here to find out. Yay, a puddle. Oh, that's trippy. Water distortion. It's probably gonna destroy the compression on uh, YouTube. Okay, now back to this corner to see if the kid's awake yet. There we go. Ah, uh, bye from out of town. Savoka. Snip. I wanted to plant an orchard, so I picked up trash, I pulled the weeds, I tilled the ground. Did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make the soil happy. But, but, the trash. Oh, this trash keeps getting washed down into the water trough. And now I can't use the water thing anymore. I can't use the water anymore. My orchard is doomed. Ah, this is no mystery. I have the answer. And the answer is Caliban. I am on the wrong. There we go. <laughs> I mean it. I can't enjoy the stack snack with someone staring at me. Go away. Actually, you're ruining somebody else's life. <laughs> what? Garbage? A small vice having trouble? Oh sure, you spring this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle. Well, no, I do what I want. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. But I need something from, from you in return. Altruism is for suckers. Just once, I'd like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild berry, and I can hold off on eating so many melons. Easy. Oh. Wild berries grow in the snow areas of the Gerudo Highlands. Mm. It's a dangerous region, so the fruit is kind of rare and hardly ever shows up at market. Ah, now that I think on it, there's barely a point if you only bring me one. Mm. Let's see. I'll need at least ten. Well, aren't you in luck? I happen to have at least 10. Mm. I haven't been thinking about trash at all. Who can think while in a melon trance? Can't believe the... I just can't believe the rinds I'm tossing are such a problem. It's all organic material, right? Anyway, I feel bad about the little vibe, but I'm going to need at least 10 wild berries if you want me to stop. Oh. <laughs> berry delivery! <laughs> it's a very good deal. <laughs> Sweetness. So that's a wild berry. It's delicious and no rind to toss. What a magical fruit. <laughs> if I have these, I might just give up on other fruit entirely. But now I feel bad for the little guy. Now that my craving's been satisfied, I realize just how horribly selfish I've been. 
Shame on me. Indeed. I'm going to help clean up the trash. I've really caused a lot of trouble, but now I'm going to make it right. Sorsko. Sorsko? Sorsko. I will never probably likely pronounce that correctly. Wait. Zoom. Hit the ground running. <laughs> hey, you, listen to this. Some other Vi I've never met before helped me clean up the trash. And now the water trough is completely back to normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you? Sarskso. Sarskso? <laughs> oh, I also got a hydro melon from the lady who cleaned it up. I'll share. It's a Sarskso for caring about me. Yay! Ooh. Oh yeah, the lady who helped clean helped clean gave me some wild berries. So now my field is going to be a wild berry patch. You can come eat the berries anytime you like. It'll be great. Sweet. That's done. Uh, hey, now you're down here eating melons. Oh my, I sure caused a lot of trouble for you, didn't I? After I saw that water trough completely filled with trash and that poor little Vi crying for her lost orchard, I had a change of heart. I'll never litter, litter again. Still with the rinds. So, the wild berries? Oh. I gave those wild berries to the little Vi to apologize for causing her so much trouble with my rinds. I was completely satisfied with being able to try a single one. Wild berry, after wondering about it for so long, no regrets. Besides, I guess I prefer hydromelons to anything, and I always will. They were being sold at the fruit shop, so I bought some more. I guess that answers both those questions. Okay, daytime. Is it daytime? I mean, it is daytime, but is it daytime? There's people missing. Ah, uh, shy. Savolta. Oh. Are you interested in sitting in my class, Vo and you? It may even teach you a thing or two. There's no hurry. We won't be starting until everyone has arrived. Okay. It's not where I need to be. Rima. Yeah. Still waiting. Hi. Hello. Hmm. Durian. I still need 10,000 rupees. I keep uh, forgetting about that. No. Oh, there's some... Maybe? Somebody over here? Sand seals. Savak. Hmm. Sand seals here were all trained by Freli. They're faster and they'll wait for you to return to them. Unless you go into a shrine, then they leave. <laughs> by comparison, the ones outside who haven't been trained will just run off the moment you dismount. It's definitely worth renting a trained one. Freli puts her heart into training them. Probably train the sand seals used in the sand seal races too, of course. Ah, uh, we need to do that to open the shrine. Sand seal races are a Gerudo tradition. It's pretty simple. You use a sand seal to race around a course and see who's fastest. Just go out the southeast gate of town and head to the right. You'll see the starting line immediately. No harm in taking a peek, right? I mean, there's significantly less harm in taking a peek now, considering there's not a giant camel out there stomping around causing a storms and things. <laughs> Tsunazarashi. They were all so cute today. 
I assume you're talking about the seals, but uh, back, back. to each their own. This is the cooking class that occurs only at night. Let's go talk to Riju and see if we've completed all of the... <laughs> stomp, stomp. He went over there. I wonder if he's done stomping. Presumably, that is the... Um, what's his name? <laughs> Hi. This Thunderhelm still holds some of Urbosa's power. If you want to wield that power, power, you must address the concerns of my people and bring a resolute peace to our town. You'll then be acknowledged as a friend of the Grudo, and only then will I lend the helm to you. Okay, there are still people we have not helped. Do you need help? Do you need help? Smod. Do you need help? How about you? Ah, I see some help. It was needed. What? 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 Barta didn't come back again? I'm afraid this time she went to investigate the Leviathan bones in the southwest. I, I tried to stop her, but obviously it didn't work because she's not here. Well, yeah. Everyone knows that area is the domain of the Mulduga, so who would figure she'd even go close to there? Oh. Yes, nobody would dare, and not, not only that, but it's an extremely hot zone, so we wouldn't last there long in our gear. Um, your gear is basically the same as mine, and I'm fine in the heat. <laughs> in fact, you don't have sleeves, so you'd be even cooler. <laughs> you. You idiots! <laughs> that scatterbrain wouldn't even realize she was walking into danger. I mean, you know that, right? Why, well, it was just the other day she ran off and got captured by the Yiga. Uh, I guess Barta will be Barta, and you all aren't going to change, but still, why does she have to go and get in trouble like this all the time? The search for Barta. Well... I am pretty sure Southwest. I'm pretty sure that uh, Barta is not at risk of getting Muldugad because I took care of the Mulduga. Turned that Mulduga into Mulduga guts. Muldugats. <laughs> Let us see if the Barta is out here in the sun. Hello, the one that is known as Barta. Ooh, some warm Cephalina. Some cool Cephalina. There's all kinds of Safinas. Okay, let's see if we can find... Oh, hey, I'm getting toasted. Um, well, this is not... Not going well. I guess we will have some chili steamed mushrooms. Take the edge off. So, doo -doo -doo -doo, I guess we'll go over here. We'll climb up the back of the Mulduga bones. Or not the Mulduga bones, the Leviathan bones. I wish I had the sand boots. That's a cactus. I thought it was a Barta. Where 
where has the Barta gone? Where, where could she be? Here on the bones that they talked about. I also probably should take a picture. Hey, I found her! She's in front of the giant Leviathan. Hi. Uh, Are you a fairy? An angel? Hey, that's fitting, because I flew in from above. Are you here to guide my passage? Uh, Everything's going hazy. This might be the end. Uh, Snap out of it! Uh, if only I could have eaten a hearty durian one last time. A hearty durian. A hearty durian. Oh no, did we use all my hearty durians? I think I actually did. That's, uh... Seriously? You just like to make things difficult, don't you? Well, good news for you. I have the power of teleportation. And it doesn't create clones of me every time I teleport. If you want to understand that one, you'll have to watch Code Lyoko. I don't remember the episode. <laughs> I mean, I remember the episode, I just don't remember which episode it is. I believe it's called Triple Trouble. Something. Because there's... He ends up making three of himself. Odd does. Rough days. I'll take them all. Okay. And then we'll just magically zoom back out here. I do like the magic zooming ability. And this is this is precisely why we need the travel medallion. Because this will help with... Uh, Traveling back and forth when there's things like this that happen. Okay, Barta, I have your vegetable. Uh. Ah, spirits of the goddess, before you take me from this world, if I could just taste fruit. Just one last bite of a hearty durian. Here. Bonk. <laughs> ah, I've come back from the brink, thanks to you. I guess it really was reckless of me to come out here without proper oh. gear. But you don't seem to have proper gear either. It's kind of amazing that you even made it here, to be honest. I'm literally wearing... The, 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 I ate a chili mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm absolutely beat. Maybe I'll rest here just a little longer and then head home. Your boss was mad. Huh? So they knew I snuck off. Oh, I'm in such trouble. Yep, it looks like I better go on ahead. See you later and Savork. And it's updated, so we're just going to zip back. This is the, uh, I didn't take a picture <laughs> of the Leviathan. This is the fairy that we need 10,000 rupees for. And see all that, and they still make me uh, provide the materials for upgrading my equipment. Just can't believe it. Yay! Berries! Savak? Wild berries are amazing! Yeah, yeah, when I buried one in the ground, shloop, shloop, shloop! More and more sprouted up, one after another. 
I think that first wild berry must have been a magic wild berry. Sweet. I will recover my uh, my investment. And away we go. Boing. Hey, that was a lizard. That looked like a high tail lizard. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Yay! I'm back. <laughs> oh, what a courageous Vi. I heard from Barda. She said you found her. <laughs> I told her you were as dependable as a champion. If you were a Gerudo Vi, I'd want you in my troop. Anyway, close one, huh? Looks like I got out of this without getting chewed out by our troop leader. You must be worn out, right? Here, take this as thanks. Buy yourself something nice in the market. Sweet. That still doesn't reco- I guess I only had to buy one, so. Net 40. Hi. <laughs> oh, brave highly and Vi. Will you consider joining our forces? I'd love to. <laughs> That's reassuring to hear. However, I already spoke with the chief about you. You're on a very important mission, aren't you? Once you finish that task, we gladly accept you alongside us. Yay! They want to hire me. That's gonna get awkward, though. Everybody's here. Well, hi, Tracy. The Gerudo are surprisingly serious. Okay, now let's go see if we satisfied the requirements to upgrade our shock protection. Can I have it now? Hey, look at that. Huh? I've heard of your recent actions. You've returned smiles to the faces of my people. On behalf of all Gerudo, I must offer you my heartfelt thanks. Sarskso. You are, from this moment on, a true friend of the Gerudo. Trying to add some cinematic quality there. <laughs> and if it can help a true friend in need, we will gladly lend you this sacred treasure. Yay! Lightning proof! Precious heirloom passed down among the Gerudo. It deflects lightning strikes and is traditionally worn only by the Gerudo chief. I know that you, more than any other, will be able to use this Thunder Helm to its fullest potential. I believe you can unlock the power of Urbosa that lies within. I want to put it on here and see what happens. Um, we still got to make room for those. Of course, the Thunder Helm goes into our equipment inventory, so no worries there. We've got a couple of uh, copies of Sheik's Mask from the um, Amiibo. So that takes care of that. We are done with the Gerudo Town quest. Um, well, kind of, I guess. There's a seal race. Boing. <laughs> I wonder, am I gonna need a seal? I don't think I'm gonna need a seal. I'm gonna need a seal. Yes. Sealessly. <laughs> what is that kind of slang? What is that? Some kind of slang? I wonder if it's just a thing outside Gerudo Town. The lady on the other side that does the seals understands. Okay, out the south gate and turn right. The right has been turned. I want this. Hey, 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 That Sand Seal Race trophy is obviously only for those who've proven themselves wor worthy. Cool it with the Grabby Grabby. That was super weird, Mr. Seal. Finally, Tally! 
You again? Don't bother Tally while she's getting pumped up for the Sand Seal race. Now the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Actually, did you want to try to beat Tally's record? I warn you, they don't call her the Dame of the Dunes for nothing. Um, Sand Seal race? You never heard of Hyrule's pastime? I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tally? Surf with a sand seal and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's sand seal racing. If you get off your shield or leave the course bounds, you're disqualified. Tally's record is 130. If you can beat that record, that trophy is yours. Ah. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of sand seal racing champions. Tally here is the current champion. Will you try challenging her record? Uh, of course I will. Wait. <laughs> I forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees for race. Forget it. <laughs> Alright, payday. Enough talk, let's begin. So I have to pay to get this shrine? It's kind of, kind of bogus. Right. Challenger has appeared to take on the Grudo Sand Seal race. Apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fa fall? The one set by our undefeated champion? <laughs> the incomparable beast of the desert, the Sand Seal, is ready to ride. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than 1 minute 30 seconds while still passing under every arch? I don't know because I don't know where the arches are. It may take a couple of tries. The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hey. Well, it's the seal's fault. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> now I'm going to have to pay him again. <laughs> you need some training wheels on that sand seal? I didn't think you were a quitter. Let's do this. This is just a money laundering front. Go, Seal. Go. Oh, that, wow, that was scary. That was all for him chasing after me. Yikes. <laughs> it's 
a new record? Of course it is. It only cost me a hundred dollars to do it. <laughs> oh. Perfect. <laughs> I believe this belongs to you. I mean, it kind of belonged to me from the start because it's a Sheikah orb thing, but, uh... This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed, passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes. You know, with the sunset and everything in the background, that's a really cool shot. Maybe a thumbnail-worthy shot. When the Holy Jewel is offered unto the pedestal, the Chosen One will be granted a new power. <sighs> but that power has never been granted to anyone. Not even to me, obviously. And yet I sense a power emanating from you, the likes of which I've never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. <laughs> and so, a new champion is born. I mean, it's kind of resurrected, really. From the Shrine of Resurrection. Oh, speaking of that, we need to go to the Shrine. So, everybody left? <laughs> Yay! I want to throw it across the dunes. So bad. Yay! Flip. Oh, it consumed it. I didn't expect it to consume it. Tis a consummation definitely to be wished. That's a line from Hamlet, I believe. If my high school uh, literature days have not uh, um, failed me. Hi. Hey, 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 hey. Don't give me that look like nothing out of the ordinary has happened. <laughs> Is that a shrine? I didn't think it actually happened, Ooh. but, well, if it takes someone like you, destined for greatness, to beat me, then it really is kind of an honor. Hey. Hang on now, Tally. Don't act like this isn't a big deal. Just watching knocked the breath right out of me. I'm sure I lost three years of my life from the stress, too. Just three years? Mm -hmm. Huh? What are you trying to say? Ooh. Well, that may have taken three years off my life. But now I've got a new goal. Training Tally to defeat the new champ. I won't rest until Tally has pulled off her big comeback and reclaimed the title of racing champ. Although there is no trophy. Now then, enough chit chat. If you want to ride, you'll have to pay the hundred rupees. No discounts, even for a champ. No. No, thank you. That sounds even more like it's a laundering, money laundering front. Yay, this should be a free shrine because I had to do a lot to get to it. Water on the sides? Yep, it's a free one. Yay! Free stuff. Free magnetic stuff. A radiant shield up with shield guard up plus four. What? So that's like attack power up. Like this is attack up plus ten. It's 10 better than a comparable not attack up. I assume that's probably what it is. I don't know how much what that actually does to help me, but uh, hey, it's there and we have it and all is awesome because everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team.
Yay. We've got spirit. Yes, we do. We've got spirit. How about you? <laughs> he is a spirit. Oh, no. That's not what I meant. Hey, it's cold now. I do not accept. I need to put on a sweater. You know, it'd be really funny if they said something different because I was wearing the chief's helmet. What, what do you need? You better not have come back here. I'm here to mock Tally now that you're the new champion racer. Hang on a moment. This racer isn't that bad, I don't think. No one who rides like that could be a bad person. Well, I suppose if you're okay with it, then I can be okay with it, too. So, do you want to take a ride? You know, you still have to pay a hundred. No, thank you. I'm not scared, I'm superior. Because <laughs> I've already become champion. Whoopee! Let's put the scary face mask on. So, those monsters don't chase after me. And um, let's put on brown pants. Or, we could go this route and we could put on cold pants. There we go. That actually kind of matches the sleeves pretty well, too. Oh, right. We are headed to the red pin. Miney Mo. Pitch tiger by the. There it is. I wish my seal was still here, but somebody went and uh, ran away. I should get a refund when they do that. I rented the seal, not uh, the special boots I have. Those are just snow boots, right? No, they are sand boots. Ah, change in our our plan again. Um, we need cold shirt. There we go. No more slowness in the runny sands. What? Don't ask me. I don't know. Also, it's nighttime. Well, there's not. I... Never mind. The nighttime thing isn't uh, significant. Oh, well. That startled me. Hey, guys. What's up? Wait, do I need your bow? I do not. Y'all are fine. So, we're walking. You know, this would have been a lot faster with a, uh, a seal. You won't knock down our wall. Keep walking. Uh, more Lizalfos. Liz Lizstalfos. <laughs> That's what they should be called. I think they're stall stall Lizalfos is what they're. I want to know actually. What love is? Want you stall Lizalfos? It'd be more fun if they were Listolfos. I don't know why, but it just feels better. There's a lot of bones in the desert. A lot of big bones. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, I get distracted. Simone. Things 
They're not always as they seem, but this one is. Boink. Oh. Ooh, it's an old pal. Go back to Splody. The Splody is nice because it's easy to work with, and wow, it's already an hour into the stream. That is crazy. Okay, we are here. And there is some scaffolding on the back. There's a bunch of round This one has and up on it. We have to match these with the things on the statues. Okay. So, in order to see what's going on, that one has a swoopy. So we need to find a orb with a swoopy. I know that's incredibly uh, ex explanatory. Oops, 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 that button. That one has the giant comma. That's not a swoopy. Is that the giant comma? That's the giant comma, okay. We can put this one in place. Thought I had to pick it up, but I, which I, I mean I kind of did, but it's not the pickup that we picked up. You pick up and bloop. Did it like it? I don't know. because it's got the red swoopy on its foot. Or red, red comma. It's not a, not a swoopy. That one, I'm sure we'll have to go up top to discover, or we'll just rule it out by process of elimination. That one is the circle. So once we find one that has a circle on it, it can go over there. This one's got not a circle. Oh, I can't pick them up by hand. Okay, so this one is a circle. Yes, because it's got the broken sword. So, there's a thing at the base of this one, so let's go get that. Ooh. Is that a Korok balloon? Hi, Wooded Filet! Thanks for following! Welcome to the stream! Ah, this is the sweepy thing we were looking for. It goes... where does it go? It goes up here? Is that the one? Nope, that's two dots. So I know where that piece is. There's the swoopy thing. Okay. Swoopy thing goes in here. So that one swoopy thing. The two dots are right here. And they go over here. Uh, not that one, but this one, right? 
Yes. Okay. Two dots are here. You know, I don't remember what that one was, but I know it's not one of the ones that we've seen so far because it's on the handle of, or the the hilt of the sword. That's the circle. The Earth Kingdom currency. If uh, you're a fan of Avatar. The, the fun one, not the blue one. <laughs> Here is... Okay, two lines side by side goes here. There's another... Nope, that's just a... Is that a rock? It is a rock. Okay. For probably the rest of the orbs, we're gonna have to go up and push them down. Because there's some up on the statues. I do... I do remember that much. There may be some... Ah, oh, here's an up. There may be some behind the statues as well. But we'll start here. These are so much easier to climb if you use the provided scaffolding. Instead of trying to climb up the side of them, which I have done before. Oops. Okie dokie. We may be able to use Rivali's power and get to the next one. Otherwise, it'll be some more climbing. All right, we are here. What was the benefit of being here? There's one on there. Oh, this one is the blue, uh, blue elf ear. It's, uh, that was probably the reason we had to climb up here, was to see. What we needed to see. So the blue elf ear is over here. We've got one... think I can get there. We're gonna just hop from statue to statue. There also might be a Korok up here on one of these two. I'm not sure on that one. So the blue elf ear. This one... I don't recall... We've, aha! There is a Korok, because I was shooting the arrows at it. <laughs> hey <-ya. laughs> Sweet. This one is the two dots, we already knew that. So, no benefit there, but we did get a Korok seed, so that's awesome. rescue. Ah, it's the circle, which is not needed for this one. Which one was the circle? It's not that one. It was this one, I believe. I think so. Let's uh, try and drop this into place from up here. Oh, why am I melting? 
That's uncool. That's still not gonna cut it. For now. All right, we'll climb up to the top of here so we can fly over to the next statue. We'll also check on the ground behind here. See if there's any orb looking items. This one seems like you're supposed to end up on top of it because there's it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Ooh. Another shrine out there. It's probably out by the uh other Molduga. Okay, we're gonna go with what we have down here and hope that uh, that one was the only missing orb. There's the one we dropped. And survey says. It was the right spot, we just were not close enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That one has the cool rock, so that one must be the blue. This one. That one's already got the lines in it. Wait, is that the right? Two lines. Sure enough. Okay. Just one left. If it's just one left, that makes it pretty simple. The red triangle goes in here. Ha-ha! This should be a free shrine as well because of all the work it took to get to it, but I don't know. Sometimes it likes to uh, mess with us. It's a free one. The Flame Spear. I am actually going to leave this one here because there's a possibility we need one of those later for a quest. TBT, welcome back. How are you doing today?
we are focusing heavy on shrines and we're also going to try and make a i'm doing great thank you very much i'm glad to hear you're doing good um so we're we're focusing on shrines today and we're going to end up out at the uh labyrinth to collect the travel medallion that's kind of our our goal for today's stream so and koroks we're 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 hunting korok seeds as well <laughs> Um, I was going to put on the sand boots, but I'm currently in a warm zone. So we're just going to flounder a little bit. have uh, when we loaded up today Zelda let us know that uh, we can return return to the shrine of resurrection and um, start the champions ballad whenever we're ready for that so <laughs> we have access to the quest line that provides us with the master cycle zero So we can do all the Divine Beasts all over again. Even worse than the first time. Huh. Heading over, we, I saw a shrine over here when we were doing the, the quest there for the seven, the seven heroines, I think was the, the name of it. So I went ahead and tagged it and figured we'd zip over here. There's a possibility we may get attacked by a Mulduga because there's another one in this region. Have I got the Barbarian set? I have not. Not yet. That'll, uh... Well, there's there's the one in the, the Labyrinth with the Travel Medallion, so that'll probably start the uh, the collection of that set. Might as well get it at the same time. These are definitely Koroks. Maybe. Maybe not. Never mind, they're not. Free shrine when you pass the maze. Is that uh, is that the labyrinth ones or the one that we're headed to here? Oh, it's getting extra toasty out here. Um, I'm gonna need some snacks. I think. Take care of this. Uh, burning sensation. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Wasteland coyotes. Already have them photographed. Bad idea. Don't do that. Who's next? Ah, uh, nobody else wanted to play. Um, I do have heat resistance. Um, well, that's what I'm currently wearing. Um, I don't know, is this one any better? The bow versus the... Oh, touche, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was, I guess I was under the impression that both sets of uh, Gerudo armor were heat resistant. But it's not as well. I have the, the, of course, the, the flame guard, but that doesn't, I didn't figure that helped much when it was uh, just melting and not combusting. <laughs> Yay! More melons.
Ah, so close. <laughs> This with the sand boots is the best combo. Hey, I can do that. Because I still have the sand boots from the other guy's quest. I just got to locate them. They're in here somewhere. I've overlooked them twice. There they are. Like that. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I was not expecting to see somebody here on the shrine. Mm. Pokey. <laughs> I just found the shrine too. Uh, my throat, it's so dry. I can't move a muscle. This really is the end. Wish I could have one last taste. One sip of a nice cold noble pursuit. You've got to be kidding me. I don't want to have to go back. <laughs> okay. I can't, yeah, I can't even travel here because it... Mm. Yay. I don't have the travel medallion yet. That's, uh, that's what we're trying to get this, uh, what we're trying to get today. Although, somehow I ended up with exactly 1,000 rupees, and that's kind of neat. And I have to change back in here. This is really... The, they, they make this rather tedious. Do, 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 do. All right. Jump. We did get the Thunder Helm, though. We finished all the, uh... I'm not gonna put that on, because I might interfere with things, but we finished all the quests to get the Thunder Helm. So that was kind of nice. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, and Vi, huh? Can't tell how old you are, but this place is definitely not for young Vi. Drinks we make here are different from regular drinks. For one, they have a real treat in them. Ice. <laughs> Noble Pursuit? <laughs> you want to try our signature drink, Noble Pursuit? Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a really strong drink. Even if I couldn't make it, even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little Vi like you. Actually... What'd you say? <laughs> Pokey's collapsed. Mm hmm, I want to help her out, but I can't make a you-know-what without ice. There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in the best shape for hauling ice. Should I get it for you? Aww. Are you serious? You'll get it? That'd be a huge help. Yes, because she's currently obscuring the entrance to my shrine. <laughs> Pokey is my best customer, after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. Uh, Ant Anch manages it. <laughs> but I think if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. You should know that she heads to bed quite early. If you plan to go, you'll need to get there while it's bright out. Oh, oh young lady. Are you sure? <laughs> Carrying ice all the way through the desert and then all the way to town? I can't let that stand. You bring the ice to the entrance to the ruins between town and the ice house, I can take it from there. Okie dokie. Let's get some wild berries. Aw, they haven't respawned yet. So, ice. Ice. Ice? This is... This is north. She did see. Did, it well, did say. Mm, did say north of town, right? Ice house north of town. 
but it's got to be bright out. Well, that means we're going to have to go to sleep. Ah, lizard! Oh, sorry. Wasn't trying to talk to you again. Um, we already addressed all of that. <laughs> so we need to sleep until morning, and then we can... Wait a minute. This is not the right room. <laughs> sleep until morning, and then we'll go to the ice house, because I don't want to... Run out of time before we get there. Yes, standard bed, please. It's a huge rock on the other side of ruins north of Gerudo Town. All right, we'll probably grab a seal because that'll make it easier. In the morning. Ah. See it from the top of the wall. Hey, my wild berries should be back. Don't need a seal. Okay. Blood moon rises once again. I did not sleep well. There was a blood moon and it was scary. And there was some lady talking in my ear while I was trying to sleep. I'm disappointed. My berries are not back. <laughs> Okay, we go up, and up, and up. I see... I see ruins. Would this be the ruins? And would that be the ice house? Somewhere up there? So it's on the other side of the ruins. Okay. Perhaps that right there. Wow, those volt fruit just uh, appeared. Mine. Alrighty. Swap out this uh, here so I don't get attacked by these Lizalfos. Oh, a red one. Never mind, I already got one, I think. We're gonna take a picture anyway. You look fun. <laughs> oh yeah, that's mm, he's got the tongue thing going on, but I I like this ultra close up better. Strengthen the Lizal bow. Why do I feel like there's a Lionel in these runs? Is that just uh just just a feeling I have, or is that a thing I should be concerned about? Oh look! A house made of ice. No wait, it's a house made of rocks. Northern Ice House. Sure enough. Boing! You should really leave the door closed. It's gonna dry out in, or m melt in here. <laughs> Alright, good, it's just a feeling. This is an ice house used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. Seeing as we live in a desert, it's pretty important stuff for us Gerudo, so I guard the ice house 24 hours a day. Actually, Pokey's dying, she's blocking my shrine, and uh, they need ice. I see. Well, if Ferosa wants ice, then you should bring her some. <laughs> You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Ferosa has no use for water. Okay. Um.
Okay. Is. <laughs> Cannot run. I just uh, have to walk. Actually, walking is too slow. There's sand on my feet. Let's get out of the sun. I can't fit through there. It's melting, it's melting. <laughs> okay. So don't hurt me. I'm on, I'm on a very important Hey, you have a book a moblin club. I'm gonna have to come back and take that from you. Grow. Grow. Get in the shade. It's really strange how they, like, freak out every time I throw the, the thing. There she is! I think we made it. The ice is intact. It may be a little sandy, but, uh... Hey! Over here! This way! Bring the ice over here! It's, I'm trying, but, uh... Somebody's yelling at me. Hmm? You're... well, whatever. I don't care who you are, as long as I get my ice. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh. Looks like the ice is in good shape. Sarsko. Sarskso. With this, I'll be able to make the ultimate noble pursuit. Sorry, but could you please let Pokey know? Tell her that I made the best one ever, and I've got it ah. waiting for her. Knowing her, she'll probably come running when she hears that there's an amazing drink with her name on it. Interesting. So I wonder if that dialogue is different if I was still wearing the Gerudo Vi outfit. Interesting. Um, so with that in mind, we're going to put this on. And we'll leave the sand pants on. And I need to go back and uh, steal this Bokoblin's uh, Moblin Club. Oh wait, that's just a spiked moblin club, isn't it? That's not a it's not a regular moblin club. I don't know if it's gonna count. There's the uh the the weapon quest in Hateno where the kids want to see the different weapons and everything, and it's current he's currently waiting on a oops. Oh, the Bokoblins were part of part of that quest or that activity, so they're gone now. Fascinating. Um, so he's looking for a Moblin Club, and I brought something, maybe a spiked Moblin Club, and he didn't want it. It was not uh, the right one. So I'm still kind of on the lookout for that, but.
I also have a tendency to avoid conflict in here as much as I can. Right, right. It's got to have the weapon itself. Okay, um... Probably our fastest way back at this point is going to be to get a seal. And I guess I don't even need to change out. I'll just grab one of these seals. Yep. Hey, seal. Haha, <laughs> now you're my seal. Hey. All right, seal. Off to the red marker. Hey. 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 It's about to get really warm really fast, <laughs> but it should uh, we should arrive just about the time our heat resistance run out, runs out. We can swap to the other outfit. Uh, I killed a Mulduga that had a shrine with it. Um, killing the Mulduga didn't give the shrine. I, I lit uh, like torches around the Mulduga area. Is that the one you're thinking of? Or is there... Because I know there's two Mulduga out here. Alright. Heat resistance is... Running out. Okay. I can't take it anymore. Going to rot here. Actually... No, it's not the same. Okay. Then I have not done that Mulduga. Huh? <laughs> Did you say the best noble pursuit ever? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I'm gone. Bye. You can take the seal if you want, but you'll have to catch it first. So the one that... Is that the one near the southern oasis? Bye, seal. Not sure. All right, we'll swing by the oasis. I thought there was a one of the people in Gerudo Town that talked about having a, a Mulduga by that oasis. But it also might be the King Mulduga. Unless that only spawns... Oh, another free shrine. Um, unless the King only spawns during the Champion's Ballad stuff. I think I have to have a quest first. Okay. Ooh, a diamond. I like the diamonds. Not the king. All right. Three spirit orbs. Okay, we can take this pan and get rid of it. Let's climb up here because there's probably a Korok. And we'll 
climb by these mushrooms because I can collect them on the way up. <laughs> Aha! Ooh. That kind of looked like a uh, a talus in the middle. Boink. Thank you for the seed, you see the little spirit child thing. Whatever Koroks are. I think they're officially children of the forest, but they're spirits or something. Away we go. Pretty sure there's a Muldugo over here. These uh, these spires look familiar. That's not a Muldugo. <laughs> Almost as bad, considering I'm not wearing my my face. Moldugo. We're gonna go ahead and put this on. We are off the sand, so we should be fine. Um, we'll leave the rest of it on so we don't dissolve from the heat. Find a Mulduga. Or really upset a Lizalfo. Whichever comes first. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, there's the Mulduga. Brought you a snack, Mr. Mulduga. I wonder what could it be? Hey, that was a snail shell. Snail shell. Just paying too much attention to the snail and missed my Mulduga opportunity. I got some of these. Yes, sir. You, uh... Yep. You, you're running away. Yeah, I got his attention. Oops. is Fury is the, uh... Way to go on that.
Yeah, the bomb arrows are working pretty well. Well enough, at least. was crazy. Did you see how far that uh, he flung that thing? There we go. Mulduga down. Wait, am I supposed to take a picture of him? Nope, we've already got him. <laughs> Yay, just what I wanted. More more doogie guts. Oh, I got the thing on my face. We're good. This one. Here, catch. Doesn't look much like a boomerang. Moonlight <laughs> oh. <Light> scimitar. <laughs> well, that didn't uh, didn't trigger anything shrine-like, so it may not be that one. But we got some Mulduga guts, which we need for upgrades later. Ooh, there is a Korok. Okay. <clears throat> Convenient. One single wild berry. This, uh, this cooking pot seems a little out of place. Oh, apparently I am warm now. <laughs> I'm very warm. There we go.
Yeah, I'm not sure what, uh, hey, that's an Octorok. Maybe, maybe I'm just out of range. Or that's the, no, that, if it was a Mulduga one, we would have already done it. That's definitely an Octorok. That's right, the champion's ballad. Um, well, we're pretty close to this one here. This uh, maze. Let's swing down there and get that uh, um, barbarian piece that's in that one. Herbos and fly, it's faster. Alrighty. Oh, that's right, because it's going to be high up, and then... Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, this one. If I get too close, I think it'll ask me if I want to uh, challenge it again. Oh, no, it probably shouldn't yet, because I'm not... I haven't started the Champion's Ballad. gonna say I don't remember this labyrinth particularly I remember the first one because it was crazy to get to but uh, we'll just go ahead and let uh, uh, I just woke him up it's not what I wanted to do um, but I assume this labyrinth is probably similar to the other ones where it's full of guardians and uh, kind of terrifying. Oh, there's a Korok thing. Well, we gotta stop and do it. Presumably the shrine that is making noises is uh, the shrine we're about to 
make our way to. Wow, that meat skewer's got a lot of parts. A tall, tall little mesa, I guess, technically, this would be. I'm gonna say mountain, but it's not, uh, not really mountainous. Korok? 100%. There is no way any of this could go wrong. Okay, this one. This one. And down we go. Some blight down there, too. Tasty. Okay, so the middle's the entrance, so realistically, that's not going to be... So 
different direction. Okay. Yep, I was just trying to see if there's anything that, uh... ...was going to help me. To you who sets foot here, my blessing awaits you at Labyrinth's End. That's, uh... A lot of gross stuff there. Probably. Yeah. Magnesis that out of there. That is just an ordinary golden bow. I think not. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not a bad find. <laughs> Throw scimitar. Uh, no thanks. Not uh, not going to be very useful. Otherwise, that looked like a dead end there. side of that blight. Ooh, gross. It's probably a good indicator. There we go. Not too bad. Although I think this is probably the smallest of the uh, three labyrinths, so... Sweet. Barbarian armor. The first of many pieces. <laughs> us enough spirit orbs to upgrade something again. Why didn't I just walk in and go? But there's a there's a grate over top of it, so.
Stellable Goblin. <laughs> Bad time for him to spawn. <laughs> that one up there. And then there's the one that we really need to go to, which is over there. I think on our way to that one, we're going to stop by the Shrine of Resurrection so we can activate this uh, quest. I don't think we'll start on it, the Champion's Ballad. Um, just yet. So. But at the very least, we can get it, uh, get it activated here, so. When we get around to doing something crazy. <laughs> Here, you can have the Sheikah Slate back, why not? It's not like it's been important or anything. Sheikah Slate and Champion Verification complete. Activating the Divine Beast Tamer's Trial. Yikes. Associated locations have been marked on the map. Yeah, it's, it's actually in the pool that you're sleeping in. <laughs> Take hold of the provided weapon to begin the trial. Yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think I want to do that right now. Although we will get a nice picture of this one. Or the compendium. Ah, uh, my album is full. Oh, that's one of the Leviathans, or I thought it was. I don't, at this point, I don't think it really is, but that was the intent at the very least. Delete those. Okay. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't remember how I, uh, how I discovered that particular one, but I'm sure it was sometime I was bumbling around and it said examine, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> kind of typical Korok fashion, I guess. Okay, what do... What do we do next? Um... Yeah, I... I... I'm... The one... the one hit obliterator. Yeah, that I know that progresses the the champion's ballad stuff, but I'm not quite ready. I don't think to take that on. Uh, 
combination things. One, that's a, it's a chaotic, I guess I can take it and then return it. Oh, my weapon sash is full. Of course. Uh, we'll wait. We'll just, we'll wait on that one. We'll probably end up running out of time anyway to progress on that very far today. So we'll take these uh, spirit orbs we've got over here to the Temple of Time and probably cash it in for more stamina. Because especially considering the uh, Champion's Valid Trial, it, well, it takes away all your hearts, of course. <laughs> because it's crazy. Um, so, adding stamina is probably a good idea. Although, I could go to the, um, is it Hateno Village? Where the dark, uh, the horned statue is. And I could swap my hearts over to stamina, max out my stamina, and then go back and do the one-hit obliterator, because it's not going to matter what my hearts are at for that anyway. The only drawback on that is it does cost, it costs uh, rupees, and I'm kind of in a, in a tight spot, but, on um, as far as the rupees go. But it's certainly a option, Ateno. Very nice. Very good. My memory has not failed me. That is a big object. Yeah, it's that's a really convoluted process, but it's uh, certainly an option. There is, speaking of glitches and things like that, there is a... It requires a travel medallion too, but there is kind of a neat glitch that uh, I just saw a video of earlier today for the Eventide Island run. Of course, it's got the challenge there that they it takes all of your equipment and everything away, and you're just like, uh, good luck. <laughs> well, with a not terribly convoluted process, um, as long as you haven't completed the Champion's Ballad yet, you can, you can actually get your armor and everything back. Um, right, right, no need, you don't need the medallion for duplicating hearts and stuff. It's just, the, the whole process there is, hey, there is a silver bokoblin. I think that is the first one I have seen. And as such, it needs to be added to the compendium. Hello, sir. Would you like to, uh... Oops. Give me a smile for the camera. <laughs> Kill it. You're funny. <laughs> ah, who said it could rain? Got a lot of them in master mode. Yeah, I'm. I honestly can't say I'm surprised there. As you'll notice, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not in master mode myself because I don't like uh, things hurting me. Stay back. Stay back. I said no. 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 Stay back. Stay back. Why won't you fly away? Explosion. Um, sir. Stop it. Stop it. Yes. That's what I need. Yay, Durg's protection has protected. Wow. I'm not sure how I managed that, but it happened. All that for one. There's a Lionel on the plateau that I'm on right now. Don't tell me that. That'll freak me out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I already have that. You're talking on the Great Plateau? Or, like, closer to me than just the general area? Oh, on Master Mode, when you begin the game, you get to start out with a Lionel. That sounds... terrible. <laughs> There's, there's really no part of walking out to fight a, uh... Oh, over by the wooden house. Okay, yeah, I know, I know where you're talking. Um, that is over. This way, I believe. Somewhere over here, maybe? Because there's, that's the same area where you get the, uh warm doublet well the first one I guess you have to cook the special dish for the guy and do the thing really really descriptive right there um, let's see we're looking at just over two hours Yeah. We really need to go up to the uh, Hebra region and do some investigating there. Climb the mountain, see the old man, and talk to him. See, is that a different, that, that must be a different one than the one that I got. Because I had, I went over to kind of the corner of the plateau, and I had to cook a very specific meal and give it to the old guy, um, King Rome Bosphorama's Hyrule, um, but in his uh, old man state. <laughs> And then he gave me a... Oh. Interesting. Two ways to obtain it. I gotcha. Careful rolling in over here. There is a guardian. Or two or three. And they don't seem to be too happy about uh, me being here. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> yeah, just two. They'll be fine. Ooh, wait, here's a box. I did not know there was a box here. Yeah, I, I, I could, I could parry the laser, perhaps. I could miss and just uh, get obliterated. Which is really more likely. Ah, we're okay. Yay, stuff.
Hello, sir. Would you like to uh, have your laser given back to you? Enjoy laser. Okay, really wasn't that bad. Fascinating. I think, um, yeah, I think, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up there. Um, we didn't get the travel medallion, but we made a lot of progress, got some shrines completed. Um, next time we'll get the travel medallion for sure. And, uh, we'll plan on probably starting the champion's ballad. We'll get the officially starting it. Yeah, well, I've I've, I've been going since seven o'clock. Generally, run two hours on uh, on weeknights. So, uh, yeah, we'll start the champions ballad next time as well. See if we can how many times we can die to the camps and stuff around the world. So, for those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live on Twitch.tv/unexpectedlyrandom. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Be sure you follow us over there on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram so we can keep you updated anytime there's a change to the streaming schedule. We also have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would be wonderful. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the content here on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And we will catch you in the next one. Until then... Stay random. We'll see ya.